Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and I am here today to share a look at the new goodies from Cat Scrappiness which are all about dogs. I hope you'll stick around, get a look at each of the new products and see some samples I made using them. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Cat Scrappiness just released their newest products, and like I mentioned in the intro, it is all about dogs. So if you are a dog lover, have a family member who's a dog lover, a friend, a coworker, you're definitely going to want to check out these new products. In this video, I'm going to share a quick look at each item in the new release, but if you stop over by the Cat Scrappiness channel, the design team over there is also sharing more detailed videos about each one. I will have links to each of the new products listed in that description box below if you want to check them out when you're done here. Now later in the video, I'm going to show you three cards I made with some of these new products, and let me tell you, I'm not really a dog person, but I have had a blast with these new products. First up are the two new 6x8 paper packs. You have Possum Girl and Possum Boy. They both contain dog themed papers as well as some just nice patterns to match. The girl one has pinks and browns and the boy one has blues and browns. These are double-sided papers and you get two of each design. So you have one on the front and another one on the back. Here's a close-up look at the covers and you can see some of those different patterns in the pads. Here's a look at the three new stamp sets. You have Possum Dog Sentiments, Possum Dogs, and Rainbow Bridge Sentiments. In the Possum Dog stamp set, you have four adorable little dog images as well as some food and toy accessories. My favorite might be this cute little paw print right here. Then the Possum Dog sentiments, you have just some fun sentiments that you can pair with these or just use on their own. I really like the, I like big bones and I cannot lie. Over on the right, is going to be a great set to have in your arsenal if you have a friend, family member, coworker who has recently lost a pet. This is called Rainbow Bridge Sentiments. It comes with a Rainbow Bridge image and this one isn't all about dogs. You do have an angel dog, but you also have an angel cat. There are lots of nice sentiments that go along with it, as well as a couple accessory stamps. You will see this used later on in the video in one of my samples. Next up are the three new stencils. On the left is Falling Rain, in the middle is paw print, and over on the right is dog bone. These are actually the products I made videos for over on the Cat Scrappiness channel, so I do give some more details there. But although the Falling Rain isn't necessarily all about dogs, I did use it in one of my card samples for a pet sympathy card. I like how the rain is kind of lighter and smaller on the top and gets denser and larger at the bottom. Cat Scrappiness has a lot of these falling item stencils and they're some of my favorite in their collection. The paw print is just what it says. It is various size paw prints on the background and the dog bone is various size dog bones. These both can make great repeating stencils. If your piece is bigger than six by six, it will be easy to piece it together. 
And finally, in the new release, is a look at the new embellishments. Cat Scrappiness has some of the best embellishments out there, and I really think they've outdone themselves with these. You have dog bone sprinkles, which are white dog bones, but I could definitely see coloring this up with maybe an alcohol marker if you want it to match a different project that you didn't just want a white bone for. In the middle, you have some multicolor paw print sprinkles. There's like bright blue, dark blue, purple, light pink, orange, black, brown, green I see here. A lot of great assortment of colors there. Over on the right are the paw print sprinkles, and these are just black paw prints on a white circle. And again, you could probably color up the outsides of these as well to match your project. I use these in my pet sympathy card. Speaking of my pet sympathy card, let's go ahead and take a look at the three samples I made. Here is a look at the first card I made. I created the background with that dog bone stencil. The focal point uses possum dog and possum dog sentiments. You'll see after I stamp my dog, I use my brother scan and cut to cut him out and then I popped him up with foam tape. The little bone here I just put flat down onto my stamp sentiment piece. I decided to decorate the inside and since you can't really write on this dark blue cardstock, I put a piece of off-white and the, a little brown bone down here in the right hand corner. For my second card, I use the paw print background stencil and another one of the possum sentiments for my focal point. I also added some of the multicolor paw prints embellishments and stamped a few of those little paw prints onto my sentiment piece. On the inside of this card, I did have it on a white card base and I kind of cleaned off my stencil brush with, from that black ink on the front onto the inside for just a subtle pattern. You can definitely write your message right over that. And this is also showing you how even though the paw print stencil was not over six inches, it did move nicely from top to bottom to fill that entire height. And here is a look at my third card, which is a Pet Sympathy Shaker card. The rainbow bridge here, I kind of framed that in the middle and turned it into a shaker. I stamped the sentiment, which reads, Our faithful friends leave paw prints on our hearts with stays on on the clear plastic shaker cover. On the inside, I thought the black and white paw prints went well with that colorful rainbow bridge. Then in the background, to kind of go with the rainbow, I use the Falling Rain stencil. This is actually a piece of white cardstock that I put down some light blue ink and then brought in the stencil and put down more ink just so the raindrops stand out a little more. On the inside of this one, I just simply stamped a paw print in the lower right. I hope you enjoyed getting a look at those new products and seeing the cards that I have created so far. I will be back later in the month with more examples. If you did enjoy today's video, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Now don't forget to go visit the Cat Scrappiness channel and website to find out more about these new products. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.